welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to crochet step by step this beautiful cable stitch beanie. Now, a few things that I want to mention before I go ahead and continue with my video is that I have a chart in the beginning, okay, mentioning all the sizes and the number of stitches that we need. Now, those stitches apply to projects that are going to be made with similar weight yarn and the same crochet hooks as I crochet. If you use different size yarn, let's say a thicker yarn with bigger size crochet hook or a thinner yarn with a smaller size crochet hook, of course the stitches are going to change. But I always need to have a multiple of five on the stitches, on the rib stitch and on the stitches as you follow the project, you're going to see in a little bit what I mean. You always need to have a multiple of five in order for your head to come out correctly. Okay. Um, in a next video, we are also going to see a matching jacket with the same exact cables. It's coming out really nice, guys. So it's coming out shortly, probably in the next week. Okay. Uh, so now let's see the material that I'm going to use and how to start our beautiful beanie. The yarn that I'm using to crochet is Alize Baby Best, which is 3.53 ounces, two, uh, 262 yards each skein. It's 90% acrylic and 10% bamboo. Okay, and the crochet hooks that I'm gonna use is a four millimeter one to crochet um, the rib stitch in the beginning, okay, to make the band. And then the rest of the beanie I am going to crochet with a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. And the reason that I'm doing this is because when we work cables uh, in crochet, the project tends to shrink a little bit. So when I crocheted my first piece, my sample, I used the same crochet hook for the band and for the rest of the hat. The hat came out straight and it had no stretch to it. So this is not what we want to happen into a hat in order to fit nicely on our hat, on our head, okay? So four millimeter crochet hook for the band and for the rest of the hat, I use half millimeter bigger crochet hook. Okay, so let's start. I have already started with my chain. I have worked a total of six chains and now we're gonna start row number one with a total of five single crochet. So skip the first chain, put your hook in the second one and work your first single crochet. One, next stitch. Two, three, four, and the last one, five. Okay, so this is row number one. Now chain one to start row number two, and the way that we're gonna work the beginning of row number two, this is how we're always gonna start all of our rows. So chain one, and turn your work. Now what we wanna do, because we want to make the rib stitch, we do not want to put our hook regularly in the stitch. Once you put the hook in the stitch, what you see is that you have the front loop, which is this one over here, and the back loop, which is this one over here. So always put your your hook in the center and grab the back loop of every stitch. Okay? So put your hook in the first single crochet and it helps if you're looking at your project from the top and not from the front like this, okay? So grab the back loop and work your first single crochet. One, next stitch, two, three, four, and my last stitch, five. Now we're gonna start row number three, so chain one, turn your work, grab the, uh, the back loop of the first single crochet, one, two, three, four, and the last stitch, five. So this is how your project is going to look like. 
See how we have an outline over here with the front loops that we never crochet into? This is how your project is going to look like. We have worked a total of three, uh, three rows together. Now I'm going to need an extra 42 in order to have a total of 45 rows. And the reason that for every size I have a multiple of five on my rows is because the stitch is a multiple of five. I use three half double crochet plus two for the cables, okay? So I have a multiple of five for my stitch. This is why I want my band to have a multiple of five in its total rows. So once I finish, I'm gonna turn my video back on to see how to continue. And for every size, please be aware that I have a different number of chains for the band, okay? So from the total number of chains, we're gonna have one less stitch for the first row of single crochet. So let's say we have nine chains, you can have eight single crochet and so on. Okay, so once I finish, I'm gonna turn my video back on. I have completed crocheting my 45 rows for the band. Okay, now I am going to chain one and I'm going to fold in half the band and I want my crochet hook to be on the right side. What we're gonna do now is we're going to join by slip stitching. So put your hook in the first single crochet and now we want to be putting our hook in the stitches regularly. We do not want to be grabbing the back loop. And put your hook in the first chain because this right here is the beginning chain, the six chains that we worked. So put your hook in the first chain and join both sides by working a slip stitch. So take the yarn through both stitches and through the loop on your hook. Second stitch in the front second stitch in the back and join third stitch in the front third stitch in the back and join fourth stitch in the front fourth stitch in the back join fifth stitch in the front fifth stitch in the back and join chain one okay and now I'm switching to my four and a half millimeter crochet hook so this right here in the side where I just worked my slip stitches this is the wrong side of my beanie now okay and this is where I want to start my first row for all sizes I want to start it in the wrong side so what I'm gonna do now is I want to be working see how here we have like a little peak over here by working in the back loops what I want to be doing is I want to be working right here on the right side of the peak and then on the left side again on the right side on the left side on the right side on the left side on the right side on the left side so what we're really doing is we're crocheting on every first single crochet of every row Okay, so I have worked one chain after the last slip stitch. I want to work one more chain and put your hook right over here to work your first half double crochet. Next stitch right here, which is the right side of the peak. Two, then the left side. Three, the right side. Four, the left side five the right side six the left side seven right side eight left side nine okay so this is how your project is supposed to look like at this point so keep crocheting all around up until you get 45 half double crochet up until the end right over here i have completed working the first row of half double crochet okay i have 45 stitches and now i'm going to put my hook in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top and i'm going to work a slip stitch now those two chains are the ones that we worked that we started the row with and they never count as a stitch they're just a two chain to begin our rows with okay now i'm going to chain two and i'm going to turn the work to work in the other direction and from here on i can flip the inside out 
so I'm looking in the good side of my project. Now we're going to start by working our cables. Okay, the cables are being formed in only two stitches. I am always going to be skipping the first stitch and grab the second stitch right over here and I want to put my hook in the right side of the half double crochet and take it out on the left side of the stitch and work a double crochet, a front post double crochet. Yarn over once, go back into the stitch that you just skipped and, I, and again you wanted to pull it forward in order to work again a front post double crochet. So put your hook from the right side of the stitch from the front to the back and take it out to the front again on the left side of the stitch, pull it outwards and work again a front post double crochet. So yarn over once, go back into the stitch that you just skipped and work a front post double crochet. Now starting from the next stitch I'm going to work a total of three half double crochet in a row. Now please be aware when we would turn our work in every row, the stitch that belongs, the hole that belongs to each stitch is the one that it's on its top left. So this is the next half double crochet. So this right here is the, in the hole in which I'm going to crochet into. It's not this one because this is the hole that belongs to the first front post double crochet that I worked. Okay, so do not put your hook in this stitch over here. This right here is the next stitch that we want to work into. So starting from the next stitch right over here, work three half double crochet in a row. One, next stitch, two, next stitch, three. Okay, so this is the first repetition. Now, Yarn over once, put your hook. Now what we're going to do again is we're going to use the next two stitches to work our cable again. This is the first one, this is the second one, so I'm skipping the first. Grab the second one, put your hook around it and pull it outwards and work a front post double crochet. Yarn over once, go back to the stitch that you just skipped, put your hook around it and again work a front post double crochet. Starting from the next stitch work three half double crochet in a row. Again, this is not the next stitch, it's this one. One, two, and three. Now Again, yarn over once and we're going to work our cable in the next two stitches. Skip the first stitch, put your hook around the second stitch and work a front post double crochet. Yarn over once, go back into the stitch that you just skipped, put your hook around it and work a front post double crochet. Again, starting from the next stitch, which is this one over here, work three half double crochet in a row. One, two, and three. So keep repeating these steps. Always work your single cable by working those two stitches, okay? So first you grab the second one, you put your hook around it and work a front post double crochet, then you go back into the stitch that you just skipped and you work a front post double crochet over here. And then you work one, two, three, half double crochet in a row. Once I finish my row right over here, where the last three stitches are going to be half double crochet in the last three stitches, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to continue. I have completed crocheting my row, I have worked the three half double crochet after my last cable. So not count from the bottom to the top and put your hook in that second chain and work a slip stitch. Now chain two, one, two, 
and turn your work to work in the wrong direction and this is also going to be the wrong side of our project. Now, we're going to start by crocheting three half double crochet in the first three stitches. Be aware this is 90 stitch, this is my slip stitch, this is the first stitch of the row. One, two, and three. Okay, now the next two stitches are my cables and in this row when I'm working the wrong side I want to crochet them in a row so I do not want to skip the first stitch and go to the second and so on now this is the first stitch over here and if you turn to the front it's the cable stitch that's going down to the left and the second stitch is this one right here so it's the cable that I'm seeing over here that's going down to the right over here so what I want to do is I'm going to yarn over once, so this is the first stitch. I want to put my hook around it and pull it backwards to work a back post double crochet. So put your hook from the back to the front on the left side of the stitch and to the back again on the right side of the stitch, sorry, and to the back again on the left side. So you're pulling backwards that double crochet and work a back post double crochet. Now the second stitch is this one over here, so with a little difficulty because you need to pull that stitch to the right, put your hook from the back to the front on the right side of the stitch and to the back again on the left side and work a back post double crochet. Starting from the next stitch, which is not this one, this is the stitch that belongs to the uh, back post double crochet that we just worked. Starting from the next stitch, work three half double crochet in a row. One, two, and three. Okay. Now again, the next two stitches are my cables. So grab the first stitch, which is the one that's going down to the left in the front over here. So put your hook from the back to the front on the right side and take it out to the back again on the left side of the stitch and work a back post double crochet. Yarn over once. Now we're going to work the second stitch, which is this one over here. So pull the stitch to the right, the stitch that's on the front. Okay, you're pulling it to the right so you can work from the back to the front on the right side of the stitch and to the back again on the left side and work a back post double crochet. Starting from the next stitch, right over here, work three half double crochet in a row. One, two, and three. Yarn over once. Now this is the first stitch, which is the one that's going to the down left, okay? So put your hook from the back to the front on the right side of the stitch, take it out to the back again on the left side, and work a back post double crochet. Yarn over once, this is the second stitch of the cable, so put your hook from the back to the front on the right side of the stitch, to the back again on the left side, pull it backwards to work a back post double crochet. Starting from the next stitch over here, work three half double crochet in a row. One, two, and three. Okay, so keep repeating this step up until you complete the row right over here. Once I finish my row, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how by repeating those two rows, the one that we did on the previous and the one that we're working now, we're going to complete our project. I have completed the third row after the rib stitch, which is the second and last row of repetitions. Okay, now the last two stitches were two back post double crochet as you see right over here because the last two stitches were my cables so it worked two back post double crochet now for all sizes you're beginning and ending the rows in the same exact way the only difference is the number of stitches that you have in total other than that you're starting and finishing the rows in the same exact way as I do now after my last two stitches put your hook again in the second chain counting from the bottom to the top work your slip stitch, chain 2, 
and turn your work to work in, an, in the opposite direction. And as you see now, we are on the good side because I can see my cables. Now again, I'm repeating the same exact, the same exact steps as I did in row number two. So I'm creating my cable in the first two stitches of the row. I'm skipping the first and I'm starting in the second stitch. So put your hook around the second double crochet and work a front post double crochet. Yarn over once. Go back into the stitch that you just skipped, put your hook around that double crochet and work a front post double crochet. Now work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Again, work your cable in each of the next two stitches. Skip the first one. Put your hook around the second double crochet, work a front post double crochet, yarn over once, go back into the stitch that you just skipped, put your hook around it, and work a front post double crochet. Again, work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, one, two, and three. Keep repeating those steps up until you complete the row. Right over here, where in the last three stitches you're going to work one half double crochet in each of the last three stitches. Once I finish my row, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to finish this row and how to work for one, sorry, for one last time the repetitions of row number three and then how we're going to finish our hat, the rest of the hat of camera. I have completed my row. After the last cable, I worked three half double crochet. And now, as in all previous rows, I'm going to finish my row by working a slip stitch in the second chain, counting from the bottom to the top. Okay, chain two, and turn your work to work in the other direction, which is the wrong side of our project. Starting from the first stitch over here, work three half double crochet in a row. One, two, and three. Now again, my next two stitches are my cables, but in this row, in the wrong side, we are working, we are working in them um, in the row. We're not crossing the stitches. So this is the first stitch, which is the one that's going down to the left over here. So put your hook around it, so put it from the back to the front on the right side, to the back again on the left side of the stitch, pull it backwards and work a back post double crochet. Yarn over once, this is the second stitch right over here. Okay, put your hook from the back to the front on the right side, to the back again on the left side, pull backwards the stitch and work a back post double crochet. Now, one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now, this is my first stitch. Okay, this is my cable over here. This is the first stitch. So put your hook around it and pull it backwards. And work a back post double crochet. Yarn over once, this is the second stitch. Put your hook around it and pull it backwards and work a back post double crochet. Then again, one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, two, and three. So keep repeating the same exact, the same exact steps up until you finish the row. Once I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how we're going to continue off camera. I have completed my row. Again, the last two stitches were the cables, so I just worked the two back post double crochet. And again, I'm going to finish my row by working a slip stitch in the second chain, counting from the bottom to the top. Chain two. 
turn your work to work in, in the opposite direction. And now again, we are on the good side of our project where we are again going to start working at the cables. So always, always, when you're working the cables, they are always formed in these two stitches. So skip the first, put your hook around the second one and work a front post. Then go back to the first stitch and work a front post double crochet again. And then work one, two, three half double crochet. Your cable, three half double crochet, and so on. These are the repetitions of row number two. Once you finish the repetitions of row number two, chain two, turn your work, start with the three half double crochet, and then your cables, in which you crochet them in a row. You're not crossing the stitches when you are in the wrong side. So you're just working back post double crochet, and this helps to open up the stitches so when you come on the good side, you can cross them again to look nice and perfect as these cables over here. Now, as you see, after my rib stitch down here, after I crocheted the band, and I switched to a half millimeter bigger hook size, my head has started to get wider over here. This is the result that I want to get because I need the head to have the nice, the, the uh, correct stretch fit to fit correctly on the head, okay? Now keep working up until you reach the total height for the size that you're working and if you have seen my other charts on hats, the height of this hat, okay, is two extra centimeters. Now this happens because when we work from the bottom to the top and we close on the top our hat, it loses a little bit of its height. So, so this is why I'm giving an extra two centimeters. Comparing to the um, hats that we work from the top to the bottom, they have the right size and they do not shrink. But the ones that we work from the bottom to the top, because they shrink when we sew all the stitches together, this is why I'm giving an extra two centimeters on the total height. So up until I reach my 15 centimeters, I'm gonna be working off camera. Once I reach my 15 centimeters, I'm gonna turn my video back on to see how to continue. I have completed crocheting my project. Now after the last lip stitch, chain one, cut the yarn, uh, cut a pretty long tail and then fasten off, okay? So now let's measure the total length of our hat. And it's about, fifth, sorry, it's about 15 to 15 and a half centimeters. It's about at the length that I need it. Now, the reason that I have given an extra two centimeters on each side, on each uh, hat, uh, comparing to the other hats, the other charts that I have posted on my video tutorials, is because when we crochet from the bottom to the top and we close like this our hat, it loses about two centimeters of its, of its height. So we need to give those extra two centimeters so the hat comes exactly at the ears, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to see how to close our hat. Okay, so after slip stitching our work and the chain one and the fast enough, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and sew all the stitches together to bring together the hat on the top. Okay, so what we want to do is go ahead in the first stitch and put your needle from the front to the back and in the next stitch from the back to the front then from the front to the back in the next stitch, from the back to the front in the next stitch, and in every few stitches that you sew, bring the stitches together, okay? So keep sewing, going from the outside to the inside, from the inside to the outside. We want to sew every single stitch together. Once I come back here on the front, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how to close up that little hole that's going to be left in the center and then how to create the pom-pom. I have brought all the stitches together and this is how my hat looks like. So what we're going to do now is we want to bring together the uh, to close right here the hole in the center. So go ahead and sew from the one side to the other Okay, and we want to make knots to be securing our project. Now go ahead 
from the bottom to the top and do it and do the, uh, do that step a few times just to make sure the center has closed completely once the center has closed completely bring your yarn in the inside okay and go ahead and weave it in right here in the back in the wrong side of your head okay on the loops up here to secure the yarn okay once I finish that I'm gonna turn my video back on to work the pom-pom together I have completed my head I have weaved in all of my ends okay this is how it looks on the inside okay I've weaved in all the ends and this is how your head is going to look like once you have sewn up here the top now what we're going to do is we're going to create our pom-pom and I'm going to use my hairpin uh, my hairpin in order to create it now you can use any tool that you have you can use a cardboard or the special tools for the pom-poms okay so I'm gonna start by wrapping the yarn around my hairpin many many times because I want the pom-pom to be pretty big okay so keep wrapping around to make a nice puffy pom-pom okay so after wrapping the yarn many many times around see how nice and puffy cut your yarn down here in the bottom now cut a double strand and I'm going to take this double strand and I'm going to take it right here in the center I'm going to bring the yarn together so all the loops are close to each other so it's easier for me to tie it okay you want it to be as much in the center as possible okay it's going to be hard to tie because I've taken the yarn so many times around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a knot over here and then I'm going to take it around once more to tie it even more So what we're going to do now, and I'm going to do it off camera, I'm going to open up my hairpin, I'm going to take out the pom-pom, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the loops from the top and the loops from the bottom, and we're going to have a nice big pom-pom, okay? So after we have cut all the loops, this is what we have as a result. Now make sure, after you have cut them, just go ahead through all of your pieces of yarn make sure that you have cut all of the loops once you have done that the pom-pom is ready if you like it like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead all around and I'm going to give my pom-pom a haircut because I want all pieces of yarn to be at the same height okay once I finish trimming around my pom-pom I'm going to turn my video back on to see how it looks completed and how to adjust it on the hat I've completed trimming my pom-pom all around and see how nice and neat, neater it looks now when um, all the pieces of yarn are about, are about at the same height. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take both ends and I'm going to take them in the uh, inside of the head. Now I guess as I was like, going through and cutting the pieces of yarn all around, I cut one of my ends over here, but that doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm going to put my crochet hook in the center and I'm going to take the pieces of yarn on the inside Okay, let me do that one more time Okay, I want to grab the other end as well. Okay. 
Okay, so I have brought both ends on the inside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to tie a few knots actually. And now with one of the pieces of yarn, what I'm going to do as my project is on the wrong side, I'm going to take my needle okay, with one of the pieces of yarn and I'm going to sew the pom-pom on the head. Okay, I'm going to be going through the, the head, grab your pom-pom uh, from the outside and go ahead and bring your yarn, your needle again at about through the center. Keep doing that all around and the reason that we do that is because we attach the pom-pom a lot better on the head and it's not shaky like this. Once I finish sewing my pom-pom on the head, I'm going to turn my video back on to see how our hat looks completed. I've completed sewing my pom-pom. Look how nice and steady it is on the head when you sew it on the inside. Okay, and this is how our hat looks all around. So thanks for watching, please subscribe, and if you like the video, please press like and leave a comment. Thanks again, bye bye!